Okay, so my name is Mr. Johnston and I'm going to demonstrate today how to solve a multi-step uh, equation with a number of variables on both sides. Uh, also, you notice there are some fractions in this multi-step equation. So the first thing that we're going to do to get rid of this is to multiply by the lowest common multiples of the denominators. The denominators disappear. In this case, we have the denominator over here of 26 and over here of 13. So I'm just going to turn these into fractions for sake of ease and I'm going to multiply this side by 26 and this side by 26 so that it is balanced. The 26 then cancels here so that turns this just into A. Uh, since there's no 26 in the bottom this just carries over with 26 uh, times 5.5 plus 26 times 2a. Uh, over here on this side, uh, the 13s go into 26 two times each. So actually what we're going to do is we're going to multiply 2 and use the distributive property into each of these three terms. So 2 times 9, which is 18, and 20a times 2, which is 40a, um, and 2 times 4, which is uh, 8 there. Uh, we combine like terms uh, with the 8 and the 18 are like terms, so we have 26 um, and 40a here. And 26 times 2a is 52a. Uh, I'm going to cheat and use a calculator here. Do um, you have a calculator there, Hosung? Why don't you punch in 26 times 5.5? So. Up till now, everything we've done has been balancing the equation. We have just times 26 here and, and done the same thing over here and combined like terms. And the my very uh, handsome assistant over here has... That's right, my man. So now we have A minus 143 plus 52A. Uh, we can combine like terms, so we have uh, the A plus 52A is 53a minus 143 and all that equals 26 plus 40a. Uh, I want to combine my like terms of the 40a and so uh, I subtract these from both sides and I add this to both sides. So when I do that all together uh, 53 minus 40a is I have a 13a equals over here it looks like uh, this is uh, 169. Uh, if I divide now, um, move this up a little bit so people can see, I got that to be 13. I divide both sides by 13. Uh, so that's balanced. And I found A to B. Uh, I think that is actually 13 itself. Uh, the question now comes is, is it right or not? So we can substitute this back in for checking. So our original equation up on top, what I'm just going to do is I'm going to substitute the 13 and for everywhere it says that there's an A. I'm just going to move this down so there's some nice room. So we have 13 divided by 26 minus 5.5 plus 2 times 13. I'm just using some parentheses there. And all that equals um, 9 divided by 13 plus 20 times 13 over 13. So we have some common denominators over here. It'll actually be quite easy to add these all together. So uh, first of all, 13 over 26 is simplifies to be 1 half. Uh, this over here then, uh, it's minus 5.5 plus 26. So this actually is um, kind of an interesting problem here. You have a decimal and you have a uh, fraction right here, but that's no problem. I'm just going to simplify that later. And I'm going to add this together. I now have 20 times 13, and uh, Mr. Tommy, can you just multiply 20 times 13? So what? there's a calculator right next to you there on the table. What? Which one? 20 times 13, please. 260. 260. Thank you so much. Uh, since these are all denominators, 13. That just turns out to be 13. And then I have uh, 9 plus 4 plus 260 of 269, 273 over 13. Uh, over here, uh, on the left side of the equation, I have uh, 
this is actually positive, um, minus 5.5, and actually this turns out to be quite easy. This just turns this into negative 5 plus 26 when I simplify uh, these terms here. So now if I simplify down a little bit more, I find this is to be uh, 21, and this over here is 273 divided by 13 and if you punch into a calculator 273 uh, by 13 you'll find the answer is 21. So what's on the left side is on the same as the right side so that is the correct solution.